Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory GTC EU Expert Mode. Alright, so. Let's see here. Last time we sent off the Tier 2 Microminer, we uh, tackled the wireless terminal, and then we also got ourselves some uh, tungsten steel. Here is the wireless terminal. As you can see, I can access it from, well, not completely all my base yet, because I don't have the quantum ring done yet. But I do have a, a range of 16 from the wireless access point right now. Um, maybe I can make more than one access point, or I can do wireless boosting, or I could just do the quantum ring. But anyways, um, I did make a little bit more tungsten steel while off stream. Or tungsten I'm in. So we've got 68 tungsten and then 4 tungsten steel right now. Um, now I was looking at what I'm thinking I'm going to tackle right now and I think that I'm going to start with the elemental reduction fluid stuff which is right here and then so we'll tackle this we'll tackle all of these quests right here so this is 9 quests right here we'll tackle I think the nether start and the mana dust. So in total, we're looking at 8, 9, 10, 11 quests right there. And then maybe we can also get the prim primal mana one done too. So that's like 12 quests right there. I think I'm going to knock this out right now. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Um, so the reason why I was like uh, wanting primal mana was because. Um, where is it? Lumium. So Lumium is going to be, I guess, like the next uh, thing that we're going to be wanting. So as you can see here, to get Lumium ingots, it's hot Lumium ingot in the vacuum freezer at MV. Blast Furnace. Um, lumium dust, MV tungsten steel coils, and then to make the actual lumium dust in the mixer at EV, you need primal mana, and luminescence, sterling silver dust, tin alloy dust, and energized clathrate. And energized clathrate is nether quartz and uh, liquefied glowstone. Uh, we've already gone over the luminescence before in the past. That's what it is. Uh, sterling silver is going to be silver and copper. And then the tin alloy, of course, is going to be tin and iron. So that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, that's why we're going to be getting primal mana, because we're going to need that for lumium. So, first things first. We need to get some elemental reduction fluid, which there is two ways to get it. Um, obviously, you can see here that you can either get 12 buckets of it or one bucket. Um, and you need pulsating dust and either hydrofluoric acid or floral antimonic acid. Now, Hydrofluoric is going to be hydrogen and fluorine. And if you want the floral antimonic, um, it's going to be hydrofluoric plus antimony pentafluoride plus petroleum dust, but this doesn't get consumed in the process, so you only need one of these permanently for that. Um, and this antimony pentafluoride is going to be fluorine, antimony trifluoride and erythium, but this doesn't get consumed, so you only need one. And then the antimony uh, trifluoride is going to be um, antimony trioxide dust plus hydrofluoric. And the antimony trioxide dust, we actually have some of it already right now. I think we got it from maybe pulverizing stimnite, I think. 
pretty sure that's how we got our antimony trackside right now. Um, you could always do antimony into it with oxygen. I don't think I've done this before though. And then you can pulverize stemnite with a byproduct chance. So that's that. Now, um, considering I don't have the petrothium dust yet, um, we'll probably start off with the hydrofluoric instead of this fluoroantimonic acid. So hydrofluoric, as I said before, is going to be hydrogen and fluorine in a chemical reactor. Now I'm going to make a few chemical reactors because I'm just going to make it uh, a chemical reactor for each um, thing here. So we need a chemical reactor for the elemental reduction and that's MV and then for all four of these it's going to be a chemical reactor at MV as you can see here that one's charcoal this one is endstone dust and the last one is uh, snow and then finally once you do these you um, take the previous step right here and combine it with a couple other things and then you get the cryotheum uh, this one's redstone saltpeter combined with the previous step and this one is obsidian dust and redstone and then this one is sulfur and redstone and then finally, you combine, I think, two of each of these plus a diamond dust, and you finally get mana dust, and then um, the primal mana, which is going to be, we're going to use an extractor for that. Um, the mana dust is an auto craft, and so these are also auto crafts. So it's literally four chemical reactors here and then five five chemical reactors now this another this stuff is going to be an auto craft so i believe we only need five chemical reactors and then i guess technically a, an extractor right if we want to convert the mana dust into primal mana so let's go ahead and get that going here um chemical reactor right and we'll just do mv ones We've already got two, but we're going to get another two. Actually, we're going to get three because we needed five. Oops, that's HV. Um, three of these. I did make some more plastic circuit boards. I made another 64 because we were just about out. So there we go. The chemical reactors are being made. And uh, let's see if I have an extractor. I don't have an extractor. Um, so we're going to go down here and make one of those we'll just do a mv1 and this okay then we'll put that with the mv machines which i just saw a second ago there we go put that in there and let's see if we can craft up an extractor here uh oh right i was missing some rubber rings i was planning on making some actually so let's uh do that real quick take this put that there okay so now we've got rubber rings and i was also planning on making another thing too, but let's make this extractor first. Start. And then I want to make a, a tank. Go ahead and do that. Perfect. And we also... Did it start making the tank? Okay, duh. And then we also want to make 
storage bus, I think. Oops, wow. Storage. Uh, fluid storage bus. Go ahead and start that. Okay, so extractor is done. Let's grab that. Let's see if we can get the reactor. Chemical reactors. Okay, we've got that. Are these ones done? Okay, the... Where is it? Super tank is done. Um, fluid storage bus. Okay. That's everything that I want for now, I think. Uh, we're gonna also want some conduit. Okay. And I'm actually gonna set this, I just built this little area out. I built it out into the, um, area out here a little bit. Just a little bit of room. I'm going to put this MV little setup right here. So, we've got conduit running down underneath here right now. So, let's go under real quick here. And we've got to extend this. Um, okay, let's actually break this one too. Let's go out one more, I guess. Now let's come up. Uh, actually... Let's go ahead and do the energy. Uh, let's try, actually, yeah, we, we want it like that, actually. Then we'll set that like that. Okay, then we'll have, so that's powered. Okay, so we've got that coming out. Now, we want the chemical reactors here. Those are all getting powered. And we want an extractor. Okay, so all of this stuff is powered. Now, let's go back to here. So we're gonna need to get pulsating dust and hydrofluoric acid into let's say the first chemical reactor so there's actually a couple more things that I want to get here um, let's see X uh, wait, can I do it with this um, think so? Let's see. An interface. And we're also going to want uh, a fluid interface too. Get both of those crafting. We're actually going to want more interfaces, too, I think, now that I'm thinking about it. But I'll get those in a second. So, let's say this is the first one, right? Okay, so... 
we're going to do is extend the conduits down there up up so let's go ahead and get some blue wix going here okay so let's see if we put an emmy interface on here and let's see if we can get pulsating can we do this i think I think we should be able to. So there's one pulsating dust in here. Now we've got to get it to go into the chemical reactor. So I think Oops, that's EV. Um, I think you would want to do a robot arm, right? Isn't that what we're wanting? Let me look here real quick. Um... So if we wanted, I'm trying to think if I want to limit it, uh, trying to think about this. Um, so obviously, sure, we could have it constantly feed pulsating dust in here. Um, but I kind of want to limit how many there is in here, first of all. And then I also only want it to make a certain amount of fluid, elemental reduction fluid. But for that, I think we're going to need like an emitter or something to limit that, to turn it off when we get to a certain amount. Um, let's see. But first, we've got to limit the pulsating dust. So the robotic arm does have a keep exact. So you can keep exactly one in there, for example. Um, and the conveyor, I don't think, has that option. But we can actually, no. I think we're going to do a robotic arm. I think that makes the most sense. And we don't have a. We don't have a low voltage one. So I don't feel like making a low voltage pattern, so I'll just make an MV one. It's fine. Let's see if we can get this set up over there. We're going to get it to do pulsating dust and then we've got to worry about the hydrofluoric coming in so we take this put it on that side and so I think we'd want it to import keep exact okay so yeah it'll only keep one in there right now is what it looks like Keep exactly one. Okay. So now it'll only have one in there at a time. That's fine. Um, now we need to get a, a fluid, not storage bus. We need the ME flu, fluid interface. So that way we can transfer the fluid over there. Um, let's grab one of these. Uh, 
Actually, I'm going to put it on the side. And so we would want um, hydrofluoric acid. And then we're going to need a tank with hydrofluoric acid in our network. I don't know if we have any. Do we have any hydrofluoric? No, I don't think so. But we do have fluorine. Isn't that? Yeah, so we've got fluorine. Let's go grab this fluorine right here. And we're going to need to combine that with hydrogen. Um, okay, how do I want to do this? No. Trying to think here. Um, let's just do this real quick. So we've got that, and we need to get hydrogen. We're just going to grab some hydro, we're going to make some hydrofluorine right now, and then get it in a tank. So let's put this in there. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Wait. It did make hydrofluoric, but it was con it was consuming that. Oh, initially it's making hydrochloric, but now I think it's making, yeah. Okay. So let's take this and. Put this in there, put that in there, actually, let's leave this here, I'm going to go get some more to finish up that flooring, so this can go in there, then we're going to get some more hydrogen, Right there. Put that in there. Okay. Hydrofluoric. Okay. Perfect. Um, hydrogen. All right. Let's put that back in here for now. I not? Hello? There we go. Okay. So the hydrofluoric, we're going to go down to our tanks. Add this here and then put that on top and then put that there, that, that. Okay. Oh, I also added a, a tank for sulfuric acid off stream. So we've got 271 buckets of sulfuric acid right now. So there's our hydrofluoric acid. And I think it already went into our little setup over here. Or did it go into here? Yeah, it went into here. So now all we've got to do is um, have a, a pump to push it into the chemical reactor. Um, and this will make, it's a one to one ratio, one bucket equals one bucket. 
Now I'm trying to think, how do I, how would I set up the meter to make it stop after a certain amount? Can I, can I do an emitter with fluids? Curious. Uh, oh yeah, ME fluid level emitter. I think that's what we'd want. Um, maybe let's make let's make these an auto craft because I don't think we have either of them, right? We just have those emitters, and then let's grab one of these. There we go. And those are just auto crafts, right? Yes. So, um, let me look here. Okay. I kind of want to put it up here with the AU2 stuff, but there's not that much room right now. Let that do that. Okay. Should be done here in just a second or two. There we go. Now let's put that here, and then we'll put these here. And then we're gonna craft one of those. Uh, let's see, we want the fluid. Missing redstone torch. So we've gotta add redstone torch to this. Okay, now let's try. We would at level emitter start. Okay, so now we've got one of these. Um, let's see. How do we do this now? Um, 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 um. Let's see here. No, not quite. Down here. And then have this pointing up. Is it? Can it even detect it from? Is that the right height or distance? I guess. I don't know how far away it has to be. So if I were to put elemental reduction fluid in here, and let's just try 1,000 for now. Um, emit when levels are above or equal to. Right. How do I... Uh, How do I make it so this only works when there's a redstone signal, for example, or not a redstone signal? I forget. Um, do I need a redstone card or something? This goes in imports, exports. No, there's... Oh, machine controller. I think I can use that. Oops. It's a lever and an iron plate. OK. 
Okay, let's try making a machine controller here. That, that, and we're gonna put this in our, so it says a soldering alloy, I think. Um, I know this one, this one has soldering alloy in it right now. I forget what we named this one, to be honest. MV Assembler C4, ah. Well, it's got no room right now, so that's good to know. Wrong one. Got another one of those. I guess for now we can just make this. Um, iron plate. I actually don't think we have levers auto-craftable, so that's something else that we'd have to add here. Uh, and then probably buttons too. And then stone pressure plates. Oh boy. Oh, that's annoying. Quite annoying. Eh. Um. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. I'm not going to do these steps. Put these in here. We'll just keep this one. And that's the one we wanted in. Oh, but we didn't grab the pattern. Pattern expansion. Um, put this in there. Put this in there. And I think I have a lever upstairs. Let me, unless I used them all. Ah, there's one lever left. Well, that's perfect. Let's try to craft one of these. Okay, so we've got one of these. Now let's, oh, okay. And that was a quest. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this set up over here. I don't know if it has to, I think it has to be on the same side as the level emitter. Control machine. Minimum redstone strength. How does this work? So, in normal, it will require a signal weaker than the set redstone to run. So I guess if this is off, it would probably turn on. Let's I want to actually have this set to... Let's see. Can I tell if it's, I can't actually tell if it's uh, getting, meeting the requirements right now. Um, so this, when levels are below, we want it to work, right? So if it's sending, Cover will require a signal stronger than the set redstone to run. What happens if we try that? Now I want to get some hydrofluorine or hydrofluoric in there and see what happens. Uh, uh, there's one other thing that I'm going to do though before that. 
I'm going to get a tank and another storage bus, a uh, fluid storage bus. Start. Just wait for these to finish. Okay, that one's finished. Tank is good. Storage bus should be finishing up here soon enough. Ah, we need Fluix too. Just one though. Oh, we already have some. Forgot. Okay. So this one is going to be for the um what were we making this one for the elemental reduction fluid I think yeah So this one will be for the elemental reduction fluid so we put that there, that there, that there. Let's see. That. Ah, oh, damn it, wood tar. Get out of there. Okay, now if only we can get out of here. Um, my Minecraft is currently muted right now. There we go, I at least unmuted it. I'm gonna not deal with this wood tar, let's just get rid of it. We make more anyways, so. So now, let's go ahead and get a pump, and let's not fall down here. Do we want, wait, do we want a pump? Yeah, I think we want a pump. Okay. Okay, that's just about finished. There we go. Let's head over here and get a pump going onto this side. We're going to set it to import. Import and keep exact. Oh, it's not going to keep exact. Right. Um, I guess that's actually fine right there. Um, 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 um. We've got hydrofluoric and pulsating. Doesn't need a circuit, so I'm guessing the reason why it's not working right now is because of the signal. I think it's stopping it from working right now, I think. Cover will require a signal stronger than the set redstone level to run. Well, this is emitting a signal. Right? So this should be getting a signal, unless it's not close enough. Do we have to move that closer? Maybe? Let's just see if we can move it closer. Not like that. Did that fall down, or did we get it? I don't see it. Let's put one right there. Now can we put this there? Um, I can't get an angle for this. Um. 
see. What is that? It's facing the wrong direction now. I don't know if that'll work. Working disabled is what it's saying right now on the machine. What happens if we invert this? Now it's working. But let's see what happens here. Okay, so a couple things. I'm going to stop it from working real quick. We've got 4,000 elemental reduction fluid. That's not exporting, so that's something that we need to get to happen. Now this is importing. This one, wait. Do we have two importing? Oh wait, so this is importing the items. This is importing the liquid. This one is controlling whether it works or not, or at least it should be. And then we would need another one to export the fluid, I guess. So we need another fluid interface, I think. Uh, are we, we're going to need a pump too, aren't we? Okay, so there's the fluid interface. Just wait for the pump to finish here. And there we go. Okay. So let's uh, put the pump on this side and uh, the fluid interface. So this will be set to export. Okay, the fluid went out. Now it should be in the tank. Let's see what we got here. Four buckets of elemental reduction fluid, okay. So we've got four buckets. This is emitting a signal right now. Wait, what happened to our elemental reduction in here? What the hell? Emit when levels are above or equal to. Okay, let me test this. 4,000, 5,000? Okay, now it turned off. Because we only have 4,000, not 5,000. But whether, regardless of that, can we get that to rotate? Do we need a wrench to rotate that? How do you, how do you rotate these? Do we need a different wrench? I'm kind of curious. How do you how do you get uh, a level emitter to rotate to a certain direction? If I want it to go up, do I just have to destroy it? Maybe. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um. Down it's not it's not gonna be this one, right? No. I can't get it to rotate, so maybe you just have to actually completely delete it. But then it's like, how do I get it to go up at such an awkward angle?
happens if I do it like this? thousand so it should turn on the emitter should turn on and then the machine controller um I don't know if we want that to be normal or inverted I think we want it to be normal I'm pretty sure, but let's go ahead and turn this on real quick, see if we get this connected. Okay, now it turned on. Let's put this to normal. Working disabled. Okay. And it stopped. So anytime, uh, if we drop below 4,000 millibuckets, for example, of elemental reduction fluid, this level emitter will turn off and the machine will start working and we'll get more elemental reduction fluid if we ever drop below 4,000. So that's all set up. Now, the <laughs> now that we finally got that figured out, it's time for the next step. So let's go back here again. Uh, we've got to grab one bucket of elemental reduction fluid so that we can complete the quest. So just grab one bucket, wherever it is, right there. Quest complete. Okay, perfect. Oh, and the next one just immediately completed because we've got blaze powder before. Okay, onto the basalt powder. Well, actually, we still have to. Get, we still want to get it set up to create it. Um, so we won't go to that one just yet. Let's go here and look at the chemical reactor. So we need elemental reduction fluid and netherrack dust coming into this chemical reactor. And. Uh, we could put a level emitter two on this to limit how much blaze powder it makes. Or, yeah. So let's get a level emitter. Actually, maybe we get multiple of them. Let's try five. Actually. One, two, three, four, I guess. I'll try four. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll get four of those, and we need fluid interfaces for, I think, four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we need four fluid interfaces. Okay. And we also need pumps. I think we're going to need four, maybe? So we'll get all that stuff going. Okay, so fluid interfaces are going. Um, the pumps interfaces. And what was the other thing that we made? Oh, the emitters. There's the four emitters. Okay. There is the fluid interfaces. Well, two of them. There's two more coming here in a second. Three. And. Four. Okay. So 
so there's four of those. We've got four of those. And what else are we missing? The pumps. Like pumps are still going? I guess they are. Oh. Hi hi creepy pie. Holy shit. I did not expect to see you. You're alive. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I've been streaming Minecraft for like the past like couple weeks. Essentially daily. Just for like a couple hours, you know, pretty much. What have you been up to? One more, come on. Yeah. Busy sorting life out. Exciting. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that we'll do the same sort of setup, I guess, over here with the interface or the. We're going to put a, a level. ME level emitter down here, and we'll have it detect if our blaze powder is, because this is going to be making blaze powder, and then the other three are going to be making these powders. So if we have too many of them, we'll have it automatically turn off the machine. Um, so all we've got to do is... Put this there and there, like that, I think. And then let's get this connected like that. And then we'll put blaze powder in this one. And yeah, so when levels are above or equal to Let's say 10. We'll have it stop working. And this one is going to be for the basalt powder. So we'll put that in there. Now, I'm, I don't know. Uh, let me look here. What the basalt. This is why you're always stuck inside the sorting system. Who's always stuck inside the sorting system? Wait. Pressing basalt powder has... Oh, wait. I already pressed the what it's at. This is what it's used for. Petrothium. I guess that's the only thing that we're probably going to be using it for. Uh, nether. Oh, wait. Nether star core. I think we need those for the nether stars, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to need the rods. Um, I'll set this to 10, I guess. Uh, emit when levels are above or equal to. Is there a reason why this one turned off? Huh? There's, we don't have 10 basalt powder. What? What do you mean? I literally know that we don't have 10 basalt powder. I'm out of range. Still out of range. Alright, we'll just go here. 
look, powder. All we have is blaze powder. We don't have basalt powder, so why why is this one shutting off? Is the real question. Let's take that out. So it's on right now. And then if we put the basalt powder in, it turns off. Emit when levels are above or equal to limit. They're not. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I get it. Duh. Yeah, so it's it's it should be off right now because this one we already have enough, so it turns itself off. This one's not enough, so it's not emitting a signal right now. So it's doing what it's supposed to. I was thinking about it backwards or something. Um, so that is good there, except I just remembered we need machine controllers. So let's get four machine controllers. And unfortunately, we're going to run into an issue here because we uh, don't have levers. So we've got to make levers. We've got to make buttons. I should have just done this. <laughs> lever button in the cutting saw and stone pressure plate and <sighs> levers and buttons is the hardest recipe yes true Um, we'll do this one. And the other one. Iron spring. I don't think we have that as a thing here. We just have steel and cooper nickel. Okay. So we'll do this one. Do we have long iron rod? Long steel and stainless steel. All right, we've got to do that one also. Do this four chamber one. Okay, so let's put all of this in the right spot now. This is an auto craft. Um, slabs put there. Iron spring, long iron rod. This is going to be Metal Bender. Um, go ahead and put this one there. And I think the rest of these are auto crafts, right? Auto craft. Uh, oh, wait, this one's a cutting saw. And this one, oh, we want to put that one in the assembler. Okay. Assembler, assembler, assembler. We're going to put this one here. This one's going to be an auto craft, so we'll put this here. And this one was the cutting saw. So I'm just going to put that one in here for now. Okay. Now, can we do this? Yes, we can. Nice and easy. That wasn't part at all. I forget, creepy. Did you, did you, did you play Minecraft? I I felt like you did, didn't you? I could have sworn I thought you did. So we'll put that machine controller there, and that one there. Um, one normal, I think right? One normal. Okay. One normal. One normal. Perfect. 
Okay, so working is disabled now here. This one's not disabled because we need more basalt powder. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought we played together. Do you wanna get into this mod pack? You wanna you wanna join this one? Do you, are you too busy? I know I know you've been busy with life, so I don't know how much time you have. Uh, so now fluid interface. Okay, we need one for inputting the fluid in and then uh, okay so this doesn't require any fluid out but we do need to export the powder into the system i mean yeah i think so all right no problem Okay, so item, items in, items out, items in, or fluid in. Okay, so that means we need an ME interface. I guess we would need two ME, two, wait, we would need two ME interfaces, I think. And uh, ME fluid interface. Uh, this is the blaze powder one here. Um, wait, can I put the no? Wait, can I? No, I can't. Uh, how am I gonna actually do that? <laughs> this one, I could do it because it had three sides, but this one, I've only got two sides to access. I can't do the bottom because that's there. Um, how do I... How do I get this done? Move everything to over? Spread it out further? Potentially, it's a potential solution there. I was trying to think if there's any other way of doing it. Um, if not, I guess that would probably be the way. Or one higher alternate height, alternate, alternate heights. I mean, if this one was higher, for example. Oh, I see what you mean. Because then the side the side here would be accessible. Yeah, I could see that being a thing. Okay. Um, let's do, ah, break that. And then let's do, let's connect this. Oops, I accidentally pressed uh, F7, yeah. And then we're gonna put the level emitter right here. And then we put the chemical reactor there. Wait, can I put, can I put the fluid interface here on this side? Ah, I can. Okay, that works. Okay. So now, oh, but wait, <laughs> if I raise that one higher, Oh, wait, I could... 
I could actually do this so it has power. Wait, actually, I was thinking of put it on top here. But if I do this, I press F7 again on accident. If I put that there, okay, so the meter could go into the side and then we could have the other sides. Okay, I guess we could do it like that actually. So that way it has power. Whoops, I accidentally broke the power. Power, power. Uh, now I probably have to get that reattached. Up. And to the side. Shit. This is going to be impossible of an angle. There we go. Okay, so now let's get that back up here. And then let's get the emitter into the side here. And we're missing an emitter. It fell down, I think. But where? We should, we should have two right now, I think. I didn't see it fall down. Is it up here somewhere? Oh, now we have two. I guess we picked it up. Okay. So, now that we've got this positioning situation out here, we're going to get elemental reduction in on the side. Uh, not right there. Uh, and that, we're going to have to actually fix that again. So let's do this, and then this. This one had, was that the, it's hydrofluoric. Okay, that was exporting, so that should be fine. Okay. And then this one is going to be elemental reduction in. And then let's see. Uh, this one's also going to need elemental reduction in. And then we've got to figure out this side too, actually. Wait, this. Oh, it made more elemental reduction because we had some piping into here. That's why this machine was working again. Okay. I was like, why is that on again? Um, so... Elemental reduction. We need to work on the items. Uh, also, we need to get a mach machine controller on that, that one right there. Uh, so let's grab one of these. Put that there, and that should be good to go there. And then this one, uh, machine control is there already. Okay, so that's good. We need to get ME interfaces. Let's just make four, I guess. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to do this other side. So. It does have three sides available like this one, so, but the this first one here is gonna is a little bit different because it's not doing the same thing as the other ones. These ones are doing the powders, so we need to do, handle the blitz, which is gonna be again item item and fluid. Uh. Fluid out. So we could put like the fluid out here on this side. Then I think we'd want that exporting. Yeah. Let's 
go ahead and do this. Down here. Ah, there's a, that's in the way. So let's get uh, the other stuff. This stuff. Uh, and then that. There we go. Okay. And this one is also going to be importing elemental reduction fluid. Or, er, wait, no, this is the one that's coming out, right? Wait. Am I thinking about... I'm not thinking about this, right? It needs fluid coming in. To In. Elemental reduction. Okay, so that's making some more elemental reduction fluid, but we're going to run out of hydrofluoric acid, unfortunately. But, wait, where is the elemental reduction fluid? It's not coming in here. Where'd it go? It's weird. Okay. Now, if I raise this one up, yeah, there's a lot of uh, chemical stuff in, like all of the um, like gold and all that stuff. It has like uh, the chemical formulas and stuff, like AU, SNCU3 for bronze, ZNCU3 for brass. <laughs> CU copper stuff like that CUNI so they like did that plus there's a lot of like chemical stuff in here a lot of chemical stuff for sure it's very like uh, in depth lots of stuff wait oh we've got eight buckets of elemental fluid reduction in here right because we forgot to tell tell it that we only wanted a certain amount. Okay, so we'll have to split that off into the other one right here. Um, oh, let's do this. Oops, that's supposed to be a B, but that works. Okay, so let's grab four buckets of this. And put that in here into this one. That's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so we've got four buckets there. That's plenty. Um, okay, so the next step is uh, getting this side figured out and also getting the other thing finished too. We were waiting on the interfaces to be made, which we have four of them now. That should be more than enough, hopefully. So we need items coming in. And it's going to be different for each one. So let's put items in here, I guess. Then we can do maybe items in here and... I don't know about the other ones. So what items do we want coming into? Well, actually, let's start with this one over here. Let's get cable going there. So this is the elemental reduction. This one is going to be a uh, blaze powder. And for the blaze powder one, we need netherrack dust coming in here. Uh, Actually, let me click that and then put this here. Okay. And I think it's only one, right? Yeah. So when we have netherrack dust available, it'll put it into here. You've been getting into biochemistry and it's mind bending how complex it gets. Everything affects something unintended, etc. Yeah. For sure. We've got to get under these machines here and get 
the emitter thing set up here. So let's grab, oh, we got to put the machine controllers on too. That one and that one. And then these ones right there and there. And then like this maybe. And so these ones are going to be the blitz and blizz. Blitz, blizz, blitz, and I guess we'll set this to 10, and this one, blizz, oops, here, blizz, 10, so these ones, yeah, should be off, like that for now, once we reach 10, it'll turn that stuff on, the machine control, one machine normal. Perfect. Okay. This one, we got this one set up, right? Yes. This one is the, which one again? This one's the blitz. So we need endstone dust coming into this one. goodness uh this end stone in here okay so we've got end stone there um and it's only one of course and then this one we need an emmy interface right here and then i believe snow So we'll have to figure out getting the snow. I mean, it's not hard to get to do, but I just gotta do it, you know? So snow will go in here, endstone dust in there, netherrack dust in there. And why does it think, why do I think we're miss, we are missing one? Oh wait, are we? Oh, this one up here. Right, I need to get an interface on that one, like that, and maybe like this. Okay, so this is the last one that we'll be doing here, which is, <laughs> wait, was it basalts? Um, oh yeah, charcoal dust. That's what we need to come into this one. Okay. And... We've got to get a pump so that it can pump the fluid in. Okay, so there's the fluid inside of there. This one needs the fluid in there, uh, fluid interface. So let's grab this, get it into the side and set it to import. And there's the fluid. Um, that one doesn't. So fluid, fluid and fluid. Okay, so they've all got the elemental, elemental reduction fluid in there. And now we just got to worry about getting the items in there. So first things first, the easiest one, I think, is going to be the netherrack dust. We can just pulverize netherrack and get a bunch in there. Now, I don't have... Wait, actually, do I have netherrack right now? I think I do. Yes, we do. So we're just going to take some netherrack and put this in here. And we're getting dust. Now that dust should be coming over here, I think. Into here? Or, oh, okay. So what we've gotta do, I think, is get um, one other thing over here. We've gotta get uh, a robot arm, I guess. 
times one, two, three, four, I think. So let's do robot arms. I'm missing something. Gallium foil? I see. Of course we are. So let's get this smelted up. Go over here, throw that in there. And then we're gonna have to put this in the bender. Bending machine. Let's do this. And throw that back in there. We can actually auto output. There we go. Okay. Now, back to the robot arms again. Robot arm times four. Start. Um. Okay. So that should be done here in maybe 30 seconds or so. I'm trying to think, is there... Uh, so the extractor is going to be used... Um, we've... Wait, did I set these autocrafts up? I don't think I did yet. For arrow th all the dust. So actually, let me do that real quick. Um, first one is going to be this one. Uh, next is... No, not that one. Aerotheum. We'll do Cryotheum. And also grab this one. And this one. Okay. So Aerotheum, Cryotheum. Cryotheum, Pyrotheum. And what was the last one? Aero, cryo, pyro. Wait, quest complete. Where did this pyrotheum come from? Did it just? Oh, I think it made it made pyrotheum, didn't it? Did it do that already? Let's see. Huh? Uh, where did this pyrotheum dust come from? Yoga machine? I was inside of this, the pattern terminal. And somehow I came across pyrotheum dust. So we do, we do have netherrack dust. And it looks like one is missing because we made 64. So that means it, it must have... But wait, the netherrack dust isn't even for the pyrotheum. So I'm literally quite confused about that one. I don't know how we got this pyrotheum dust. Um, so we have aerotheum and cryotheum. Aero, cryo, we need pyrotheum. That, craft, and then what's the last one? Why don't I see it? Cryo, aero, oh, petrotheum, that's the one. That's the last one that we need. Okay, so we've got all of those, and those are going to be auto crafts, so let's go put these down here somewhere. Um, I guess I'll put them here, that, and that one. And we also need uh, <sighs> some of the auto crafts for this stuff, because we don't have... So let's go to the... Like, if we try to craft Aerotheum dust, it says we're missing saltpeter and blitz powder. 
but the blitz powder is going to be handled over there but we do need to handle the saltpeter dust and for saltpeter dust we're going to need saltpeter which I don't know if we have any saltpeter right now um, unless we have it upstairs let's look doesn't look like we have it at all in here so I'm gonna assume that we don't actually have any saltpeter right now so we'll have to change that um, let's look at the other dust uh, cryotheon right so we've got to handle snowballs and snowballs are gonna be water inside of a fluid solidifier with the mold ball so um, I guess what we'll do is do this wait and code pattern oh whoops I took everything out of there wait I don't want the mold ball there Um, how would I do that? I don't know, actually. Never mind. Screw that pattern. Uh, we're just gonna get some water, and we need a fluid solidifier. Um, let me think. Uh, fluid solidifier. I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is... Let's start with the mold ball. Molds, it's not, it's not here, it's upstairs. That's it right there. And then let's go down here to our current fluid solidifier. And put that in there. And we need water in here. So we'll get this. And then slap that on there. And it's going to start making snow. So we'll let that do its thing for a while. We've got our snow going. Um, obsidian dust. We do have obsidian, but we have to set it as an auto craft in the pulverizer like this. Yes. And then we go over here to the macerator, right? Yes. Okay, so now we can make that, I think. Let's look at Petro. Okay. Well, that's that's good. So we can do that. The Basalt's powder is obviously going to be handled over there. Oh, okay, we've got we've to add charcoal dust also. Charcoal dust. Charcoal charcoal dust um, you get this from pulverizing charcoal and then we're gonna put that into the macerator also now let's look at the was it the basals one or the petro that we were doing uh, dust hey I was typing dust not that one. This one? Obsidian dust. Basals. Oh, okay. I see. So let's do this. Let's make 10 of these. And that should automatically go into the... Yeah, see it went down. 9. So I think it automatically put it over into the machine, I think. Well, at least it put it into the interface. Let's see. Okay, so there's the charcoal dust. It put it right there. But we've still got to get it to go into the actual machine, which is going to require the robot arms, which we did 
request. So let's grab the robot arms. Now that those are obviously finished. And we're gonna put slap one there. This is the charcoal one, okay. So we're gonna do import and it's got the charcoal dust in there now. But working is disabled on it right now. Oh, we didn't put uh, an item item thing in here. So the charcoal dust is used for the basals powder, right? Yes, yeah, so let's put basals into this one right here. And we're going to set this to 10 and put that there. And it started. So our basals powder is being made. Um, it's not going to be exported into the network, though, I think right now which may or may not be an issue that we have to figure out. But, okay, so it's making the basals powder and it'll technically turn the machine off once we get 10, if it detects it in the system. Now, it being inside of here, it's not gonna detect it right now because we don't have a storage bus on here and it's obviously not going into the network, so. Um, but we only have 10 charcoal powder, so it will obviously turn off right now um, once we get down to zero. So, endstone dust. If we put a robot arm on here, on the top side, and set it to import, now endstone dust is going to come in here. We can actually limit it to 10 in there. Wait, 10? What? 10. So now it won't put more than 10 in there. It'll stay at 10 at most, or exactly 10, rather. I think. It went down to 9. Should, is it going to make it go back up to 10? I thought it would. Keep exactly, keep exactly 10. I don't know why, why would it not put more in? Keep it at 10. That's kind of weird, but here's our blitz powder. Um, this one we don't have to worry about. This one, the netherrack dust. We don't have netherrack dust right now. Or wait, no we do. I forgot we made it. So set this to import, keep exactly. Uh, 10. Okay. So it went up to 10. And then it stopped, I guess. Is this one? So this one's about to run out of endstone dust. Is it going to put more dust in here? I guess the answer is no. Okay. What about this one? Wait, this one should be turning off, right? Huh? Oh. Wait. Did I just see basalt powder in here? What? This should be blaze powder, I think. There we go. Working disabled. What's this one? Oh, that's the elemental reduction. Um, this one is basals, which is set properly. This one is, well, not finished yet. This one is endstone, da da da. Blitz, perfect. Okay. Let's go over here and get the snow. 
Um, so we can turn this into the big snow blocks. Um, let me think here. Do we need the big snow blocks or do we just need the small ones? Let me think about this. Is this for the blizz stuff? Okay, so we need the big snow blocks for the blizz powder, but we need the small ones for the cryotheum. So we need a bit of both, it looks like, actually. I guess we'll make half of it into blocks and keep half. Actually, um, let's do 10 blocks and then the rest snowballs. So we'll put that in there and that in there, I guess. And then come over here. This is gonna be the snow one, right? Yes. So let's put a robot arm here. Um, up. And import keep exact. 10. Why does it do that? Zero. Okay. So now we've got our blizz powders. So all of these quests are complete. Um, the petrothium. So we'll have to auto craft these. Um, I mean, we don't have to, but um, we could set it up to be automated if we wanted, but I'll probably just have them be crafted whenever we need them. Um, the one other thing that I kind of want to do though is have these powders go into the network and for that we're gonna need um, I think another arm to set to export and we would need another inside of the machines to have an interface there I think maybe pretty sure um, so it's this one, this one, this, or this one, and this one. So let's go ahead and get, I think we would need four, right? Yeah, four. So four arms, I guess. Or actually, let's do the interfaces first. Face times four. don't think we need any more cables. I don't even think we need a fluid interface anymore. No pumps, I don't think. Put that away. Okay. What I learned... What I learned today is that I'm going to make my machines 20-sided instead of 6. <laughs> yeah. You know, it would be nice if you could have multiple things going to the same side. Like, um, if I could have a, a cover here that was set to import and another one that could export, like... Or just have a cover that can handle both import and export instead of having it set to one or the other. That would be nice. <laughs> what? 62 aluminum ingots? Did we run out of aluminum? We did. I swear I had like 200. How did we actually run through that many this quickly? That was... I've never run out of aluminum before because I always make sure I have like at least a couple hundred before I start. Wow. At least it only takes a few seconds for each one. I guess I the interfaces do go through qu aluminum quite fast here. Uh, extractor. What were we doing with the extractor again? Oh. For the mana dust. We're going to pipe mana dust into here. 
and it's going to extract it into the mana, uh, whatever it's called, primal mana. So we're going to... Oh, we need a mana dust autocraft, don't we? Because we don't, I don't think we made that. Okay, so let's make a mana dust autocraft here. That's going to be the ingredients. And let's go down here and put that there. So this is made with all of these plus diamond dust. So we've also, oh yeah, so we're going to get these things exported, all of these into the network, which actually reminds me, we are going to need a couple more cables once we get these interfaces finished up here so we've got two right now let's go ahead and get these set up while the other one's finished um so we come over here get that put that there i guess and then there and there or i guess we don't need this one we can just have it like that and then we need, oh, right, the robot arms. Did we make more robot arms? I don't remember. No, is the answer. We're gonna have to make more aluminum, looks like. Uh, wait, we, we don't need to make robot arms, do we? Is the conveyors cheaper to make? Conveyor. What are these ones? I think I can use these. Let's go ahead and try these, I'm just curious. We want that one on this side. Exporting. Okay, the items are gone. I think they're in the network now. So let's use these. Okay, there goes the items. And I believe they're in the network now. But let's double check. Uh, I don't... I, I don't see them here. Did they go into the conveyor module or something? Where did it export it to? It's not in there. They were in here. I know that much. Where did our blitz powder go? I don't see it here. Blitz. Oh, but there it is. Was I searching for dust? I was searching for dust. I need to be searching for powder. Okay, so there is our bl blizz and blitz powder that we just had export. So let's get two more of the... Did we use LV conveyor modules? I think we did, right? LV conveyor module, yeah. We don't have those set to auto craft. We've only got MV, HV, and EV. Of course. Of course. Um, I think I'm gonna do this then. And then, does this require... Okay, it's just a regular autocrat. Uh, oh, wait. Let's actually do this one instead. Let's redo that. Oops. And do this one. And put it in our... Oops, actually get rid of that. Put it in the rubber. This one. Put that there. And let's make two of those. Start. Ok, 
ะเราไม่ต้องใช้ไฟฟ้าเลยนะครับเราไม่ต้องใช้ไฟฟ้าเลยนะครับเราไม่ต้องใช้ไฟฟ้าเลยนะครับเราไม่ต้องใช้ไฟ
and therefore it's not constantly generating charcoal. So what we could do is have it void extra benzene. That way our charcoal doesn't run out. I guess we'll do that. Because I don't want to run out of charcoal. So we'll head over to our benzene, which should be over here somewhere, right? Yeah. And we'll just uh, do that, enabled. And now, if we look over here, it's empty. And now this is going to keep going. And this is going to keep going. And we'll have our charcoal going back to full again. That's perfect. OK, so as far as quests go, um, oh, we need to grab those powders and put them into our inventory. Otherwise, it doesn't think we've finished them. I, we already have the blaze powder one done. We'll leave that there. And this one. OK, quest complete. Please. Thank you. Ah. Nice. Okay. We finished those. Um. Wait, now we need the dust. The dust. Right. Um, do we have one of them finished? We did. We have the Pyrotheum one finished. So let's get Petro, Aero, and Cryo. Petro. Cryo. Petro, Cryo, and... Wait, it was Aero? Yeah. Missing Saltpeter. Ah. Damn it. So there's the Petro... Here's the cryo. Those two are done. Okay. The issue is the saltpeter. 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 I don't even know what you use it before besides literally this. Or aerothium. Gunpowder. Okay. Just looking at what you can use it for. So, saltpeter ore is, I guess, found only in the nether? I guess. So, we might have to take a trip to the nether real quick, grab some saltpeter. Um, let's go here, put this in there. Uh, let's do this, that, take a trip to the nether, find some saltpeter, saltpeter, okay, looks like it's pretty chunky there, let's go one, two blocks south, one, and two. So it should be here. Um, is it above us? No, nope, that's quartzite. It is found at 5 to 45, so we've got to go down. I believe we're in the right chunk, right? Oops. Yes, we are. We just got to go down. Okay. Should be close now. Is saltpeter vein okay? Oh, magma blocks. Have we still not seen it yet? Where is it? Oh, we found it now. It's way down here. So found Electrotine. Alanate. That's Saltpeter, okay. Okay. 
Okay, I think we have enough now. Maybe. Maybe not. We can mine a little bit more. Okay, that's a lot mined. Grab all the stuff. Did we grab it all? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, some here. There we go. Okay, so we've got about two full stacks. That should be good enough for a while, hopefully. I don't know if we need it for anything else, but... That should be good. So now we've just... To get some quick saltpeter, I'm just going to throw some of it in the smelter. We'll throw... 10. And that'll get us 40 saltpeter dust. That's more than enough for now. And let's head over here. And now that we have saltpeter dust... We can make that last, uh, which one was it that needed the saltpeter? Uh, it was one of the dust, right? Okay, it was this one. Oh, okay. There we go. Aerotheum. Okay, that quest is complete. So we finished all of those. Now we need to make the mana dust. And thank goodness that's going to be easy to do, because we already got the autocraft set up. We just hit start, and it does it. There's our mana dust, and that quest is complete. Nice and simple. So now that we have the mana dust, uh, we've got to get this... Well, we can make it so it automatically uh, comes over here into this extractor. Um, do we need mana dust for anything else? I guess. I don't know when I'm going to be using those. But we could just have it come into here for now, I guess. But if we want it to come over here automatically, we're going to have to grab a Emmy interface and uh, either a conveyor module or a robot arm. So I guess we'll do that. Luckily we have an extra Emmy interface. Conveyor module. Do we want to do that? I guess. Oh, you're heading out creepy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again, creepy. Hopefully I see you around. Don't stay don't get too busy. Save one minute. Save one minute a day. <laughs> okay, there's that and that. Uh, I forgot we need uh, Fluix. So we're going to put that there. Then we're going to put that on top. And then we're going to grab some Fluix cable. Fluix. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. And then we're going to put that there. And then grab the mana dust. And we want four, I guess. Like that. And then we need to set that to import. And there's our primal mana. We have one bucket worth. Let's just go ahead and grab that. And now that quest is complete. Okay. Perfect. So we've knocked out 8, 9, 10, 11 quests. We knocked out all 11 of these quests. Um, there still is the Nether Star one. And that's actually not going to be too difficult. It looks like it's just Nether Quartz and... Uh, I guess the dust. Uh, oh, there's some rods here, it looks like. Um, 
but the rest of it looks like it's literally just dust. So I think we can probably knock that out real quick and then probably uh, wrap up. So I guess we'll start with this one. Um, I think I'm probably going to have these set to auto craft, right? Is this the, is it the only way to get nether stars? I guess. Oh, I guess you could theoretically do this stuff, but that's pretty much the only other way. Okay. So let's do this. Nether star north. Uh, nether star south. Nether star east. Uh, hello? East. Nether star west. And nether star core. And I think that's all the pieces that we need. So those are all going to be auto crafts. And it looks like we're running out of room right here. Yeah, we don't have much room. Let's go ahead and make one of these. Okay, so while that's doing that, um, let's go ahead and make sure that we have the required stuff. So I don't believe we have any of the dust now. Yeah, so we've got to make these. Let's, let's see if we can do this. EM dust. There we go. Okay, so we want, it makes it in a set of two. So we'll just hit start there. Start there. Start on that one. And start on that one. Okay, there's the dust that we need for the nether stars. Nice and simple. Um, I could click move item, or I can just get the auto craft thing going here also. So we're going to take this, put it right here. We'll put these in there. And then we could probably just search for this instead. Wait, can you... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I can set that as an auto-craftable. So let's do that. Set the nether star as auto-craftable. Oops. Star. Put that one in there. And then there's one other thing that we're going to have to take care of, which is the rods. And those are these ones. So a blitz rod is going to be ah, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem because we don't have a compressor connected to our network right now. Which means we're going to have to make one. Um, okay, let's see. Where, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it over here? I mean, I guess I could. So let's make an MV compressor. I suppose. Let's do this. Put this with our MV machines. HV. MV. So we'll put that here. And then we'll make the compressor. Start. We'll let that do its thing. We'll set up the compressor. And uh, I guess we while that's going, we can still make the patterns. And we're also going to need uh, an interface, too, on the machine. So let's make one of those. 
And then let's get the pattern set up here. So blitz rod is going to be this one. Do that. Um, what other ones? Blitz uh, blaze in the compressor. Next is going to be this one in the compressor. And lastly, the blizz. Uh, wait. I mean, I guess I can do... It doesn't matter if I click that one or that one. It's the same input-output thing. Okay, so we've got all those. The compressor, I think, is done now. We've got to get Fluix and the interface. Which I guess is not done yet. It's finishing up. It's because it had to make aluminum ingots. I don't have any right now, so it's taking a little bit extra. I'll craft a bunch of them. Get that stock back up. There we go. That's finished. Um. We want to make that into one of these. Okay, so compressor. We're going to get set up. I guess we can set it right there. That has power. And then we need to get an interface on here. And then uh, wire. There we go. And then these go in there. And now, we can probably craft those automatically. Can we do the nether star though? Let's see, craft nether star. Missing block of luminescence. Ah. Oh, that's right. We need a block of luminescence in the center. Do we have luminescence right now? We have 45, so looks like we'll be able to do that. So let's do this. Then go over here. Ah. It seems that that's full right now. I see. Let's just do... I want to keep these blocks together so I can keep track of what we've got as blocks. So that's that. Now, let's try crafting another star. Hopefully this works. Start. It's making the rods. Or compressing them, I guess. I think it t it'll take a little bit of time to compress them. Oh, wait. There's something that I do have to do, though, for this to work. Um, let's do... We need uh, this one and this one. Let's make that go up and hit allow input. And that. There we go. Now we're good. Now it's finishing. Two left. One left. And there we go. Our first nether star. And we have it auto craftable. Quest complete. Right? That was a quest, right? Ah, uh, because we auto crafted and didn't put our inventory, it doesn't count. It doesn't. That's annoying. Uh, we have the nether star. We're we're gonna get this completed. Annoying that you literally have to complete, or you literally have to have it in your inventory for it to count it. It's like I I I did. I made them. I made all the stuff. But it just doesn't realize that, oh, I have another star. I 
it's like how else would I have unless I like did one of these other things but I didn't um, so we just knocked out a bunch of stuff here in total like we were trying to plan we got 8 9 10 11 12 quests done it took a little bit of time especially because we had to get uh, all of this stuff set up over here and uh, figure out how we're doing it and stuff but uh, at least we have it all set up now um, so that's good and we have another star which this nether star is going to be, um, I know it's going to be useful, um, there is a quantum one, right? Not that one. Where is it? Quantum nether star, or quantum star, which is a nether star plus radon and a chemical bath at HV, and this quantum star is used for... I guess some IV level stuff, it looks like. And for the quantum ring, too. So, that that's going to be useful. And, wait, is this the, the matter condenser? That's Isn't that the one that's used for the singularity? Making the singularities? I think so. If I remember correctly, I think that's what you need also. So, if we want to get the quantum rings, so a access to AE2 everywhere... I believe we'll need definitely need the quantum stars for that so that's going to be obviously something useful immediately and uh, uh, as far as stuff coming up next um, uh, I still have to eventually tackle that uh, turbine I mentioned it before but uh, I'm mentioning it again because it's still on the to-do list. Um, large gas turbine. Uh, the only thing that I was thinking about is that um, if we want to do an IV rotor, which is going to be twice the output of energy, we would need... Uh, I think it's tungsten steel, right? Let me double check. IV rotor. Boulder. Uh, yeah, it's tungsten steel and uh, HSSG gears, which I looked at, and they're not, it's not necessarily that hard. Um, as you can see here, it's just an EV mixer with molly molybdenum which I actually made. I processed that because that was some of the stuff we got from the tier two micro miner last time. So we've got some of this. We've got chrome, obviously. Um, vanadium dust we have, and then tungsten steel dust times five. Well, we've got four right now and we can get more easily because we've got 68 tungsten. So we can easily get that last tungsten steel dust. And so that means we can get HSS gears because it's not, it doesn't seem to be gated behind uh, anything that we don't have. Like it's MV. Oh, actually, scratch that. There is one thing that I have to do. I have to get my blast furnace upgraded to tungsten steel co uh, coils. So that's the only thing that I have to work on before I can get an IV rotor holder, essentially. I think I can do everything else right now. Just gotta get that blast furnace upgraded. So uh, I don't know if I'll do that next time. Maybe I will. I'm just, uh, I gotta figure out what I wanna do next. And uh, so I don't know if the, oh yeah, so the, the tungsten coat, Tungsten steel coil blocks are right here for the quest. And that does unlock, of course, these three quests right here. So I might actually do that because we are obviously going to need Lumium. And I'm not in a super rush or anything to do the tier 3 microminer, I don't think, right now. So um, I might do the tungsten steel coils next. Um, I know we have to 
end up tackling the epoxy at some point and also perhaps get an EV circuit assembling machine as well as an EV assembling machine because we don't have any of those I don't think right now so yeah I think that's gonna wrap it up for now thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye for now